episode 52 of the Marketing Life Podcast. This is Taylor Timothy, your host. And today we're going to talk about tips and tricks with Google paid ads. Let's not waste any more time and dive right in. So guys, the very first thing that I want to talk about with Google paid ads is you guys need to realize that Google wants your money. Same with Facebook, same with all these platforms. So you guys need to be very strategic with your campaigns or you guys can waste a lot of money really fast. So one of the first things I want to talk about are call only campaigns. So what are call only campaigns? A call only campaign is basically it pops up inside of Google search and it prompts them to call your business directly. So you can also have search campaigns where it doesn't prompt them to call, it drives them to the website, but we're talking about generating calls and call only campaigns. So one of the first things that I've recently learned about call only campaigns is you should use maximize clicks for these campaigns. Now, naturally you want to use the conversion based campaign, but I have done some tests and that's what I found out. So one of the best ways that you can find out if your campaigns are producing like they should with call in the campaigns is you look at what's called the click to call ratio. So with your click to call ratio, if you pull up inside of your columns, you can show how many how many phone calls you have and how many clicks. So if you should have almost the same amount of clicks as phone calls, if you have done that, then you're definitely targeting right and you're definitely delivering your ads up to where they need to go. So look at your click to call uh, ratio. If it's like one to 20, so they have 20 clicks and one phone call, you probably need to go back to the drawing board with your targeting and different things like that. The second trick with call only campaigns is make sure guys you're using phrase match and exact match. The reason why is these campaigns are probably one of the more competitive campaigns out there. So yes, search is very competitive, but call only is in my own opinion is definitely even up there even higher because these are really hot leads if you're going after the right keywords. So be very strategic with your phrase match and exact match. I personally would only start with exact match first and then see what kind of results you're getting and then I would maybe open up to phrase match, but definitely do not be using broad match, broad match modifier or broad at all in this particular campaign. You will waste a lot of money. So the other thing to make sure to pr- that you're producing the results um, as far as they go, what's interesting is quality score on these call only campaigns. In my opinion, you don't go off that. You go off, are you getting phone calls and what's your click to call ratio? So the quality score, a lot of times my quality scores are a lot lower on my call only campaigns versus the actual search. So again, focus on the results. The second thing I want to talk about is broad keywords. So guys, I've preached a lot on this podcast. Don't use broad keywords. Don't use broad modifier keywords. I literally just preached it five seconds ago. So guys, there is only one time, I repeat, one time that you might use broad keywords when setting up your campaigns. So the only time is when you're using really tight demographics. So if you're going over specific tight knit areas that maybe exact match won't pop up, then at that point you might use broad modifier keywords or broad keywords. So the only time I would do it, like I said, is a very tight demographic. So 20 to 30,000 people in a city, 60,000 people in a city. Again, this is kind of like the last result. So when I set up campaigns for the first time, I start with exact match, then I go phrase match. And if you're not getting any traffic at all, 
then you need to look into using broad modifier keywords. So again, that's when you guys use broad keywords, broad modifier keywords that I have found recently. The third thing we're going to talk about is how to disable TV YouTube ads. So one of the things I was looking, I was auditing a campaign and realizing these guys are using a ton of money on TV based ads. So the reason why I don't want my ads showing up on a TV for YouTube is a lot of my ads that I run, I run for opt-ins. I want people to opt in. I want them to download. I want them to schedule a call. And how are they going to actually opt in on a TV? I mean, we don't have a 65 inch touchscreen TV in my room. You know, I've personally never seen that. So the thing is, you might as well disable these ads, in my opinion, because you're never going to get opt ins and you're going to be wasting money running these ads on the TV placement. So, what you guys do to disable this is you go into your overview of your ads and you can pull up the devices under your YouTube ads. And what you do is you set your bid adjustment to decrease 100% and this will completely disable your YouTube ads and you'll stop wasting money over there. So that is the third trick on how to disable your, your TV YouTube ads. The fourth thing we're gonna talk about is some simple tips and tricks on how to get your ads approved. So I recently set up a campaign. I was getting ads disapproved and I was like, why are these ads getting disapproved? Like they're following all the guidelines and whatever. And what I found is if you make one minor adjustment, if it's, you know, deleting an S off and making it not plural anymore, any minor adjustments will force the ads back into a review process again and all of my ads got approved. So that is a little simple tip tip and trick is just make that small adjustment inside of your Google paid ad and your ad will usually kick back on if you are following the guidelines. But that's one small simple tip and trick. So guys, that's going to wrap up episode 52, Tips and Tricks with Google Paid Ads. If you guys have any questions about any of this that I'm talking about, feel free to reach out to me. Don't forget, guys, to go over and check out my course. It will teach you guys how to build your website from start to finish, run paid traffic, make adjustments, and start generating leads and sales for your business or your client's business. I'm all about helping people generate better results and more results more often. So thanks guys for listening and peace.